The Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade could shape the midterm elections. Abortion could become a key part of the races across the country, could be a factor in which party controls Congress. And joining us live right now, Dr. Caroline Heldman, a professor of politics at Occidental College. And, and Dr. People living here now, now wondering how the SCOTUS ruling will impact our state. Governor Newsom has said California will strengthen abortion rights and will become a sanctuary state. But without Roe v. Wade, are those protections in jeopardy? Well, they are in jeopardy. They're not immediately in jeopardy. And as you point out, Ryan, uh, the governor today signed yet another bill strengthening abortion rights in the state. He has said we're a sanctuary state. He put out a video with the governors of uh, Oregon and Washington saying that they are going to stand for women's reproductive rights. Uh, they are, have signed in, he has signed into law uh, an assembly and Senate bill uh, that says that they will, we will protect, the state of California will protect against lawsuits and legal actions against abortion providers and women in the state. So what we see is a small number of states really banding together to support abortion rights. But if the Senate, at the federal level, if the Senate and the House and the presidency become Republican in the near future, the door is open to completely ban Roe throughout the United States, regardless of what state you live in. Let me ask you this. So the midterm elections are just around the corner, and now this is beginning to be the conversation about how this is going to shift the political winds, if at all. Abortion is on the ballot either way. So can the issue either mobilize Democrats to the extent that it would need to for them to make an impact at the ballot box, or could it actually strengthen Republican candidates in your mind? I think it's going to do both, but the biggest shift will probably be that uh, Gen Z and millennials will turn out at higher rates. What we saw, you know, these are folks 18 to 30, and about two thirds of them vote Democratic. We saw their massive surge in 2020 giving Biden a win, but they still only participate at rates of about 50%. So, what I would expect is given the kind of shock of five decades of women's reproductive rights being overturned, uh, that this will motivate turnout on the Democratic side. It will certainly also play well with Republicans, right? So Mike Pence came out today uh, and said that he wants national anti-abortion legislation. So he's essentially, you know, running uh, on that platform, if you will, putting his, uh, dipping his toe in the pool to use that in order to advance his career. So what I think will happen is we'll see a massive turnout from young Democratic voters, um, which will be the only backstop against fully a rolling back row because that's what will happen if we have a Republican controlled Congress and White House. And from the polls we've seen, the majority of Americans are in favor of keeping Roe in place. What do you make of this shift of the Supreme Court away from the quote unquote will of the people? Uh, we are in a new era with the Supreme Court. We've never been here before, meaning that they uh, are, have a supermajority conservatives. They are wildly out of step with the American public when it comes to major issues. So as you point out, you know, 70 percent of Americans wanted Roe to stay in place, but the court ruled against that. They will also be ruling against environmental regulations, against gun control. They already have, uh, even yesterday, earlier this week, ruled against gun regulations. So we're in a, a new era in American politics where the court, in many of their decisions, I would argue, are being driven by religious ideology and they're out of step with the American public. The question is, how will Congress rein that in if they will at all? That's uh, in and of itself going to be a big mm -hmm. debate. Dr. Heldman, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. Thank you. Great to be with you.